Well, if you're heading to the beach, you know, you better be careful with those rip currents because they are a dangerous reality off our shores. Several turned deadly last year in the east. Three people died from them in Emerald Isle alone. In honor of Rip Current Awareness Week, I take one for the team and jump into the hearts of one to learn firsthand from the Coast Guard how to get out safely. Here we go. We're off on a risky adventure. Let's jump on a Coast Guard boat and search for rip currents. It doesn't take long to find one churning off the beach of Emerald Isle. What's our plan? What are we going to do today now? Well, uh, today we'll put you in the water and uh, we'll try to get the... Uh try to simulate the effects of what a rip current does. Many people have a fear of sweeping out to sea, and I'm one of them. Okay, I have okay. a lifeguard with me if you want to point over here. He's, he's going to be in charge of saving me if I, if I run into trouble. If you find yourself caught in a rip current, don't panic. That is number one. After a few words of advice, I Nobody take the plunge. Me. You're caught in a rip current right now. What you want to do is swim parallel to shore the easiest way you can. Quickly, the view of the sandy beach gets further and further away. But I do exactly what the Coast Guard says. All the, the wind and the, the waves are kind of pushing towards the beach, but she kept going away from the beach. That's how you can kind of tell you're in a rip current. I'm not the strongest swimmer, so the conditions wear me out in no time. If you're feeling like you're overexerted or you're starting to get fatigued, you should just stop and tread water and try to draw as much attention to yourself as possible. I think I'm out of harm's way, but I call for help just in case. When I was out here in the water, I could definitely feel the pull of the rip current pulling me away from the beach. I was really glad Joel was back here to back me up, and I'm glad also to be back on this boat. Rip currents off our coast can range from a couple of feet wide to 200 yards wide. Again, the most important thing to know is to stay calm and swim parallel to the beach until you can feel the waters calm down, then swim back to shore.